I'm Josh. And today we're hunting worms. In quarantine. In quarantine. In Terror Blow from Renegade Games. This is a programming game. So essentially on your turn you'll play a card and you take the actions on it. I guess it's not really programming. You're just choosing and then doing that. You choose what actions you're going to yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Action selection. Action selection. So each of these cards have different things on them here. So we're going to be playing one. So I'll, I'll play one on my turn, and then after my turn's completely over, Josh will play one. Um, you will do multiple things on this card. The first thing you'll do is move a worm using those arrows. So if I play this on this worm all the way to the right, I would move its target token down one and to the left one. Mm -hmm. Then I would get however many action points are in the top left there. So that one gives me five action points. And actions can be used to do a few different things. I'll get to those in just a second. And then the last thing you'll do are any special abilities on the card, like the boots here, they have special ability. You get to resolve that after you've done your other two things. Uh -huh. So for actions, what can you do? You can move a space only ortho orthogonally. Orthogonally. Yep. Oh, orthogonally. <laughs> orth orth orthogonally. Uh, that means left, right, up, down, not diagonal. Um, you can ramp another player. That simply means if they're in a spot next to you, um, instead of moving through their space, you can jump over them and you get two movement for, the, for one action. Uh, you can remove a rubble that's adjacent to you, and that's important because you cannot drive through rubble. And because whenever you get three rubble in, on your person, you immediately discard it and you get to draw weapons, which are great for fighting worms, or items that might help you along the way as well. Uh -huh. um, you can deliver an egg, one egg at a time to different locations on the board. So we got the state police, the hospital, the government, government facility, building, facility yeah. the motel, and the general store. If you deliver an egg, you will get one victory points. That's okay. If you deliver an egg that has a bounty, like the state police are looking for a blue egg, and the delivery, or the general store is looking for a purpley or reddish egg, yeah. you will get three victory points instead, so you want to deliver those eggs. Um, first to person to 20 points, wins. Because the first person to 20 victory points wins the game immediately. Um, and the last action you can do is actually pick up all eggs in your area. Um, but once you take that action, you lose the rest of your actions for the turn. So you want it to be the last thing you do on your turn, or otherwise you're just going to forfeit the rest of your actions. So move there, pick up all the rubble around you. <laughs> yep, exactly. Then pick up that egg. Um, and then you can drive it around. Uh, you can never move into a space with rubble, and you can never end your turn or your movement on the space with another person. Um, we each have three characters. Those are kind of our life throughout the game. But they all have different abilities. So we had to select one to be our, our leader, and we get to use the leader's ability. So my leader is Life Coach Sebastian. And instead of having a hand limit of three cards, I get a hand limit of four cards. Ooh. And then Josh is playing. I'm playing Taxi Driver Grady. Ooh. He's streetwise. I gain one additional action point each turn. It can only be used for movement. So I'm like a taxi driver. I move around. He got one. Yeah, so he gets one free movement um, every turn, which is pretty good. Um, we started with one item and one weapon card each. Mm -hmm. um, those stay hidden. And... Essentially, that's it. We decide that I will be the first person. So you talk about fighting them? Oh, right. So, how do we kill the worms? Or how do we fight worms? Because, I mean, we're not just collecting eggs. We're yeah. also fighting worms. So, what's going to happen is each of these worms here has some information on it. So, the top numbers there are where they actually come out on the grid originally, like when you first put them over. Uh -huh. So, this guy's number three, and he starts at three blue, four red. Uh, orange or brown yeah so this is his token right here that's where he started off that's the blaster um that's how many hit points they have in the heart five hit points that's how much it takes to kill it and the bottom right is a two in like a little explosion symbol what that means is once he has two cards underneath of him because whenever you play one of your vehicle cards you play it face up underneath one of these uh -huh. once he gets two cards on him he will attack after that person's turn do we roll to see where he attacks no, we don't roll to see where he attacks. Whatever hit, wherever his target token's at is where he'll attack. Okay. So that's why it's important to try and move him around to target the other people. Oh. Or if you think you can defeat him, move him towards you and then make him attack you so you can fight him and kill him off. Uh -huh. um, to fight a worm, they attack in whatever area it shows on their card. So it's a little hard to see, but that guy has an egg right in the middle of like a plus sign. So an egg will come out on the board of that color, and then rubble will go out to the plus sign around it. 
Um, if you are in I any of those spots that would get hit with an egg or rubble, you are being attacked by the worm. Your only choice is to fight it or die. Yep, if you don't roll to defeat it, it kills you. It kills it you. It kills your leader. So you will play as, in as many item or weapon cards as you want. Um, you can play one at a time, and if you do enough damage with the first one, you can stop, or if you don't, then you can play another one. Um, but your goal is to kill the worm or be killed by the worm. Hopefully not be killed. Yes. And then once you kill the worm, you'll get one victory point for killing it, unless it has a bounty. So for right now, this one is to hunt any worm and get four victory points. And this one right here is actually to hunt a blaster, which is both of these right yep. here are blasters. One has a six, though. One is a six and one is a five. One's a little bit stronger. It's a little bit yeah. mature, more mature of a blaster. Um, and you get five victory points if you do that. So we also have missed tentacles out here. Now, you wouldn't be able to gain both of those. You would only be able to do one Correct. or Correct. Whenever you collect a bounty card, it is only one bounty card per turn. And that's essentially the entire game. Like, this is pretty simple. simple. Yeah. Got it. So I'm going to go ahead. I We chose, again, like I said, that I will be going first. So I'm going to pick a card here and play it. Do we draw back up at the end of our round, right? Yes, and at the end of your turn, you always draw back up. And because we're playing two players, there's actually a fourth step on our turn. Um, so after we refill our hands, we're going to roll one of these dice. And then just take the top card from this, flip it over, and add it to one of these worms. And they're going to move um, and maybe it, And maybe attack. And possibly attack. Yep, that could break them if you're playing Smash Up. It'll break the base. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't like this at all. At least you have four cards. Okay, so I want to play the motorcycle. Oh, so you move nothing. Yep, and I want to play it on this blaster here. It has no distraction, that's what those are called, distraction movement. So nothing will happen for that. Uh -huh. So I will get my six actions first, so... So you don't do that first? No, the ability is always last. Okay. So I'll do my six actions, so one, two to pick up two rubble, three to move, what are target tokens, these? Actually. Yes, those are the target cool. tokens, yep. So one, two, rubble, three to move, four, to pick up another rubble, five to move, and six to pick up an egg, and because I picked up an egg, that will end my actions, but it was my sixth action anyway. Oh. Now we resolve the ability on the card. Move all target tokens one space closer to you. So I guess we'll do this, and this, Does that makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. The, the motorcycle's loud, so, you know. Um, so, but I did get three rubble tokens as well, so because I got three rubble, those get discarded immediately. I'm going to draw a weapon, because I might need it here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that face down. Yeah. And now, because we're playing two players, I'm going to take one of these dice, and I'm going to roll it. Four, and then this will come up on this worm right here. So, question. does uh, Is it when I play a card here, it would automatically attack, or is it at the end of my turn? After you gotcha. finish whatever you're okay, doing. Okay. Yeah. So, the... And, um, if two people are in the worm's attack range, whoever took their turn last gets to attack first, mm. and then you go around the, like, so it'd be you, then me, then you, whatever. But, um, so this worm here, number two, is actually going to move down one step. Because mm. the loops. Cool. And that's it for my turn, so now it is your turn. Cool. And I have an egg. Thank you. Oh, wait, no. I didn't draw back up. Oh, oh buddy. There we go. I'm going to play a sedan. Okie dokie. So number two will move down one. Can't. Can't. So he'll move right one. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so now you'll get four actions. Yep. Well, five, because I can move for free. Yes, correct. So one action. I'm going to do that. Two actions, I'm going to move for free. Okay. Three, four, how many actions do I, I get? So that will be one, two, three. Yeah. Pick up an egg. Hey, 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 hey. Those are my actions, Joe. Okay. Now what do I do again? Uh, Love ramp. Okay. Okay, so now we do the action, the ability on the card. So move any target token two spaces. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can they be doubled? Yeah, I believe so. I don't, I don't see why not. <laughs> oh man, so I can move them all onto you. Well, move 
a, any target token two spaces, and I think you have to move two spaces. I'm gonna go one, two. Okay. Okay. Um, Draw back up. Yes, and then you will roll the die and see where the, because we're playing two players. Normally you don't do this in a three, four, five player game, but let's see where that gets added. So two, so it'll get added to the first worm, Miss Tentacles. And she's gonna move down three times, but she can only go down once. So they never leave the board. Okie dokie, life coach. None Sebastian. of them break, so we're good. You're good, yeah. Uh, what do we want to do, life coach Chip Sebastian? Um, wow. All right. Well, the general store is looking for one of these purpley reddish eggs I have here, so I gotta get there and deliver it, no matter what. Oh. I want to fight one of these worms though, while I'm at it. <laughs> That's a lot of rubble. It is a lot of rubble. Okay, so I got another motorcycle. Oh, that yeah, no surprise there. Uh, the motorcycle though, I think that it's trouble. Why is it trouble? I just think it's, <laughs> like it's trouble. I think it's wonderful. Let's go with the motorcycle. All right, we're gonna put it on the number three. Oh, buddy. Number two guy, uh, which will make him break. Do I want him to break, or do I want number three to break? Well, either of them to break. <laughs> Something's breaking. I know. Potentially two things. Yeah. Well, would this not happen until the following turn? No, it happens at the end of my turn. Mm, okay. So. All right, so we're gonna do that. So I get, um, they don't move at all, but I get six actions, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, oh, dang it, six. I didn't count that out right, I thought I had more actions. Oh, to deliver it. <laughs> I have to deliver it, so I don't get to deliver it. Hey, actions. but you can deliver it next time, because it's, it, it's not like an end action phase. That's right. Um, I'm actually safe there as well, because Rumble and X can't land on the turtle, so yep. I believe I'm safe. Yep. Um... So now we will resolve this action here. Uh -huh. The ability move all target tokens one space closer to you. I'm assuming this would go up. Probably. Because it can't go through. Right. And then um, let's draw back up to four. Now I'm going to roll a die and see where that extra one gets placed. Uh -huh. Four. So it will actually get placed here. Uh -huh. um, normally you cannot place more cards than are allowed on a worm unless mm. it's in this two Gotcha, player, gotcha. Right? So number three, or number two will move up and then right one. But I'm pretty sure yeah, they can't, they move, can't on. move to the store. So let me double check that real quick. Okay, so we consult the rule book. You cannot be attacked if you're in a location. You are safe because rubble and, and eggs cannot be placed there unless the target token is directly on a location. I looked out, it's one away. <laughs> How would it end up directly on a location? So It can just move, I mean, if the movement happened to take it there, So right? this one, instead of going up one, it would have went there then, right? It could have, yeah, if we wanted to. Yeah, why not? Lovely. Makes sense. Yep. Unless you're going, I mean, technically it's just moving one space closer to me, and any up or right is one space closer. I'll let you choose where you're going. But... It's going there then. Okay. Alright, so, worm two is going to attack, so that means the, a, a, Purple egg will get placed there. That's the top egg. This will go away. Mm -hmm. And then the blaster puts one here, here, here. I thought no more than two. No more than two can go, so that gets ignored. And then it would go here, but they cannot be placed yep. in location. We discard these movement cards. We discard the worm card. And that's the end of the attack. Um, if I wasn't in the location, I would have had a chance to hunt it. Um, but you cannot hunt if you're in a location, so... So does a new one get drawn Yep, so a new one gets drawn immediately, so it goes out to three, four, which is right here. And... Yeah, that's it? That's it. Cool. Now it's your turn. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna play the, this hat here. Black hat, when you play this card, gain one victory point. Gain an additional victory point when you kill a worm. Discard wow. this card if your leader dies. You may only wear one hat at a time. Oh, okay, so it's a hat. Gotcha. Yep. yep. I'm gonna play boots. On 
two. Okay. The Screamer. Actually, let's play it on one. Yeah, let's do one. We'll go one, two. It says, when played, discard another vehicle card, gain additional extra points equal to this number value. Wow. Damn, so I'll have six plus my one for movement, so seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and turn in a, deliver an egg. Okay. So that's that one. So he can either take the one victory point or take the bounty. Bounty! Bounty! So he'll have three victory points for that. Actually, four now total. Yep. So Josh is heavily in the lead. Do I flip over a yep, new? Yep, new bounty comes out instantly. Deliver an orange egg to the, the motel. motel. I draw up for yep. three. And then you will roll and add one. Hmm, I guess I don't understand this one, but okay. Okay. Roll. Yep. Five. So this one will get an extra card. So that is number three moves to the left. Yep. Okay, so now we go to the end of the round. You actually have two worms attacking this mm -hmm, turn. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with number one, which is way up there. A blue egg will come out where the rubble is, and that one will get removed. And then, yep, in each corner. What did I choose to be rubble? The rubble, rubble on the double. Okay, so then this tentacles will go away. And then three is also full as well, because mm -hmm. it can only take two cards. So it will... Do we move them first? Didn't you already do that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yep. So a purple egg will come up where number three is, right here. And then uh, into the cross pattern. And there you go. Okay. Lots of rubble. All right, so now that blaster's gone. Darn it. Mm -hmm. the bounty. Mm -hmm. So number one, another screamer comes up. Okay, so that is in three, five. Mm -hmm. So three, five, right there in front of me. And then this one comes up at 2-2, two, two, right there. Exciting. This is Tinkerbell. Wow. So this one doesn't have an egg that plays in a specific area. You roll the dice, and you place a blue and a... Um, by the coordinates? Yeah, by the coordinates. So it'll, t it'll place two eggs when it comes up. Wow. But it could be anywhere on the board. And it has a huge... Yeah. It's literally the entire board, almost, looks like. But it, can take, it takes four cards before it breaks, so... Alright, so that's your turn, right? Yeah! Alright, what do I want to do here? See, I'm confused on... So I have a thing that says play, play a vehicle card face down as a distraction. Yeah, so what you would do is... So you would just put it like that. Oh, it's then, just adding to it? Yup, and then once this got the three cards, we would actually flip it and it would move. Uh, using the arrows on it. Well, I'm gonna start off with the. Uh, like, where's number two at? Right, right up there. Huh? Uh -huh. Alright. I'm gonna play another one. You motorcycle, need motorcycles! Right? I, got, I got motorcycles for days. Uh, what kind of it's stuff? nice because nothing really. So they don't move at all. Except they move after you because you're so loud. Yes, exactly. So I get six actions. So the first action I'm gonna do is actually turn in this egg, deliver it to the general store. Uh -huh. um, so I'll claim this bounty right here. Get out of here. Does this new one come out right away, or? Yep. And this deliver the same, or yeah, the reddish color to the, uh, so I have three victory points now for making that delivery. And because I delivered to the general store, did you deliver it in? I did, to the state oh, police. You, you delivered it to the state police, which means you get to draw a weapon card. We forgot about the bonus. Oh, I like that. Because I delivered to the general store, I get to draw an item card. Those are rough ones. Seven, eight, and nine life. Wow, that is a lot of life. <laughs> I probably should have looked at that before I tried to fight someone. Man, I should have cut my mouth shut and just let you fight them. <laughs> should have like, I'm going out there after the screamer and got destroyed. Okay. Okay, so, um, I, that was one action. My second action is going to pick up this rubble. Get out of here. It gives me three rubble, which I'm going to take another weapon. Mm 
Yeah. That card is so mean. Yeah. Well, Holy boy. cow. Or so good. Um. Okay, so that was two actions. Three actions. Four. Five. And then I'll pick up. I need the purple one. Not really. I'm gonna move in here. Oh. For my sixth action. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pick up another rubble oh. and then discard it to get another weapon. Oh. Okay. So, before I end my turn, because I'm on my actions, and if, before we do that ability, I want to play Seismograph. On your turn, discard this card to play a vehicle card face down under any worm as a distraction. Gain one victory point. Oh. So, can I get a victory point, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. I'm tied with me. I am tied with you. Shenanigans. And Play a card under a worm as a distraction, so I'm gonna play this vehicle card to move this worm right here. Oh. Alright, so now uh, we'll draw back up to four. Oh, no. And then I'm gonna end my turn, and that worm's gonna trigger because it has two cards on it. Well, don't we do this still? Oh, yeah, we do, you're right, yeah. Oh, no. I can mess up all my plans. Yeah, I could. Two. Okay, no. We just put Luckily. it right here. Lucky. And it doesn't move at all. It's just the 18 wheeler. And that would have oh, been wait, amazing. Wait, wait, We also didn't do this yet, did we? Yeah, no. Move target tokens one space closer to you. Um, since they're on my space, I would assume they can't get any closer. Yep. Okay. Alright, so this guy's going to come up here, so we need one of the reddish eggs on my spot. kind of sucks you can't pick up... Oh, you can pick up all eggs, right? Yeah. Wow. Rubble, rubble. Okay, you got him. Rubble. Sweet. Okay, so I'm getting attacked by a worm now because the screamer has come up in my spot. Uh -huh. Oh no. So, first thing I'm going to play in this attack is an experimental arm cannon. So, during a worm attack, play this card face up near your leader. Anytime you're attacked by a worm, you may roll one die and deal damage equal to its results. You can only carry one worm egg at a time. Oh, do I want to do Whoa. that? Whoa! Mm, maybe I don't want to do that. Go over in the little. Nope, Tax. I'm doing it. Oh, All right. wow. I'm rolling. Three damage to him. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. So he's got five more hit points. So now I'm going to discard a hunting rifle. During a worm attack, discard this card to roll two dice. Deal damage equal to the higher of the two. So I need a five to kill him. A five! Hey, ah, hey. I successfully killed the screamer. So number two is dead. Nice. Um, I can take a victory point, or because yeah. I hunted any worm... I get four victory points instead. Dang. That was dominating. Alrighty. And this hunting rifle goes away. So does that weapon stay with you then? It does, yeah. Um, discard this card when your leader dies. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. That's pretty crazy, Cole. Okay. Um, so we need to put a new worm out. Oh, yep. And we already finished the rest of the turn. So, uh, four, five. Man. So, four, five. Right over here. Oh, oh yeah, that's go. not it. Yeah. Okay. So now it's your turn. Holy that was a big one. moly. I should have used Natasha as the leader. Every weapon she uses deals two extra damage. This is crazy, man. <laughs> So first we move number two, uh -huh. down one, and then left one. So it's uh -huh. going right here. I am in the heart of work country So I'm going to do one. Okay. Which then... Give me this. I'm going to do two, three, four. Because I have uh, one extra. You cannot land on the space. Oh, you're on right. One. You can jump me for one, though. Mm. You want to jump over me to the general store. Darn it. What was I thinking I was going to do here? I don't know what I was thinking, Joe. I was thinking I'm trying to stop you, but that's... Uh, no. One, 
two, three, four, I guess. Okay. Okay, then yeah. you'll do your ability, which is on the card that you play, which is play a vehicle card face down as a distraction. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Alright, and then you will draw back up, uh -huh. and then you will roll to place another card. One. Oh boy. Okay, nope, that's good. Okay, so there's a move. There's a lot of uh, 18 up here. Alright, so now it's back to me, huh? I don't know what I can do here. Huh. Probably need victory, or uh, weapon since I'm in the middle of all these wars. Yeah. Oh. They are, uh, it is. Crazy. I want to play this one on number three. It doesn't move at all. Um, but I get seven actions. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ruler. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I want this card three immediately. Take it up and. Oh, crap. I forgot to use something at the start of my turn. Can I still do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to use military satellite. At the start of your turn, roll both dice. If a target token is on the resulting coordinates, that worm is killed. Oh, wow. If the player pawn is there, the leader dies. Oh, wow. Discard the card only when you hit something. Oh, wow. So you just sit. Someone's getting killed. Oh, wow, that's wild. Five, five. Nothing. No, nope, nope, nope. Five, or one, five, one. Nothing there either. No. Two, four. Ooh, close. Nope. Ooh. Five five again. No. Two one again. Wow. Move the hospital. Four four. Close to the hospital because it was a. Uh... Four four. No. Nope. You need like a three four and or a two one, three one. <laughs> or a three five. Four four. Six four. Well, it would be four six. Oh wait. Yeah, four six. Yeah, three six. Almost yeah. Gotcha. yeah, that's wild. Five, four. Nope. That's crazy that it just goes until it explodes. Yep, four, four again. Nothing there. One, four. One, three. One, three. I mean, nope, nothing there. Okay, two, three. Four, five. Four. Oh. What if you hit yourself? I lose my leader dies. No. Nope. Well, would it hit the egg or would it hit you? <laughs> player pawn is there, their leader dies. Oh so. man, so I'm assuming it'll destroy both. Three, or four, three. Three, four, because it's blue. Oh, four, blue, four, four three. three. Okay, darn. Darn. Thought it was three, four. Four, five. I think nope. we've had that one before. Nope. Yep. Two, five, or five, two. Nope. nope. Just a bunch of rubble. We need two, three. Five, one, or one, five? No. Nope. No. One, four? No, there goes the state please. Five, three. No. No. One, four, one. No. No. Six, five. No. Dang it. Three, Ooh, three. Ooh, one away, close. Ah! We had like three, four, or five, two, three. Six. No. Nothing. Six, six. No. Nothing. Six, three. No. No. Six, oh, that's three. Way up yeah. Two, one. No. No. Two, one. <laughs> no. Five, four. Five on blue? Yeah. Four over? No. No. One, six. No. Five, six. No. Three, one. No. One. Six, two. No. Man, how many rolls do you get? Ooh. Three, six. So three, six. Hits oh, me. I kill your leader. Dang it. Bobby, so this hat goes away. So does he just get discarded? You put him face down, and you select a new leader. Oh, man. Whenever you play a seven vehicle card, you may move into space with rubble. Immediately discard the rubble from the board. Wow. We need to pick it up. Whatever. Okay, so that was... I've taken three actions before I did that, right? Because I picked up four. Three. You picked up four rubble. Oh, I thought I had one already. Because you had one, two, three, four. You're right. Okay, so I have three more actions still. One, 
two, three. All right, and then now move the nearest target token um, to your space. So if one is nearest, well, technically two is there, right? But I would think probably another one moves in. Would you get to choose which one? Well, can you, you don't get to choose which one. Attacks you, and if it's attacks you, it attacks you. Right, yeah. And then... Man, getting rubble is obviously the way to go. Yeah, it is, man. You gotta get that rubble and get those weapons. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, that, I think that's it for me, so I'll draw back up to four. And then we'll roll the die. Six. So this guy gets one. Number three here. He doesn't move. Okay. So okay. dangerous. So dangerous. to do, man. Kill worms. Keep up with my sports car. Yeah, really. My bicycle. Seven, so I get eight. Or no, I just get seven, but I can run through stuff. Yep. I'm gonna go one, two, okay. three, four, uh, five, six. You know that egg does not match the one that is required for delivery. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just Seven. Sure. I'm gonna turn in these three to get a weapon. Okay. All right. So. Um, and then move, move the, the nearest, nearest target token to your space. Yes. So it's one or two. I guess. Mm. One's gonna attack. Yep. I think I'm gonna deal with it. Okay. You don't get any victory points, though, if you defeat him, right? You get one victory point for killing the one. Meh. Okay. If it had a bounty, you would Yeah, yeah. More, yeah. So do I draw back up? Yep. Then you will roll and see three. So worm two will... Do nothing. Nope. Another motorcycle. But worm one... Will attack. Oh, it's that. So a pinkish, reddish egg will come up there. And we'll put rubble one here, one here, one here. Yep. Okay. It's attacking me. And it'll attack you, yes. So, um, it has seven hit points. So I'm going to do shotgun first, discard during a worm attack, deal with two damage if you're two spaces away. Four damage if one space away, six damage if you're on the same space. Wow, that's good. Yeah. So six damage, so it has two more, one more hit point yep. left. Yep. And then I'm going to play semi-auto rifle during a worm attack, discard this card to roll six dice for every result of five or higher deal two damage. Okay, so... Just hand me all four. Yep. So five or higher deals two damage. Yeah. At least one five. Six, six. Yep, six. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. so six more damage is super dead. So you kill the worm uh, right here. Yeah. So he is dead. You get a victory point for destroying the worm, a screamer. Yeah. I was hoping it was uh, something better. A blaster. Yeah. Something, yeah. something but It's all good. It's all good. And then it will end the attack. Your leader gets to stay alive. And a new blaster will come out. So uh. one, four, four. Four, four. Oh, so close. Right by us. Yep. Sweet. And he has got seven hit points. Um, that's the other Turn, yeah, right? I'm good. Okay. Alright. Now it's my turn. Let's see here. What do I need to do? Where, who's looking for this orange egg? The hospital, which you would need. Or that's a long ways away. Or the motel, which is super close. Okay. Oh, I forgot to play that. on this guy here, so we're going to go one, two. Oh, yep, yeah, we do that first, and then the ability says when you play, uh, discard another vehicle card, so I'm going to discard a pickup truck. So I have seven uh, actions, so I'll go one, two, three, which will trigger another one of these. I wonder if those hat cards are any good. Hat cards. 
Oh, I don't know, yeah, probably the item cards? Yeah. I mean, I have one I've used already, give me an extra victory point. Yeah. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then deliver the egg for seven, which will be the delivery to the motel. Mm. When you deliver to the motel, you gain an extra victory point as well. Wow. You get a victory point. Jesus. What are you? Pretty much at 15 points up? Uh, I have 13 points. Dang! To my 5. To your 5. I think it's swing pretty quickly, though, I feel. Ooh, hunt any worm. There you go. That's what you needed. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I gotta draw back up. And then we roll the die to see where the worm goes up here. Six! Oh, no! Whoa. That's bad for me because he's—I'm in his attack range. So, um, but you're on a—you're on a—you're on a thing. You don't. Before the attack, we reveal this. You don't get hit by. Uh... Oh, you're right, and he'll move over to the right twice. Wow. Okay, so Rubble's gonna go. Two eggs out randomly by rolling the dice. So Let's roll both sets. Yeah, there you go. Uh, first, the, the classic dice will be for the blue. The one dice. Is it a blue thing. or is it a purple and a red? It's a purple and a red. Yeah. So which one or what? The plastic is for the purple. So three two. Because you could be hit by the egg. If you're hit by the egg, you get uh, you get damage. And the second one is five five. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, no. You are hit. Time to fight, Josh. Which one am I fighting? Tinkerbell. No, that ain't too bad. She's only got nine hit points. Oh my god. Oh my god. E. That's impossible. I mean, it's not impossible, but... <laughs> it's improbable? Improbable. Give me dice. Alright. This sucks. What are you doing first? Well, you have another semi-auto yeah, rifle? Yeah! Semi-auto rifle, you baby. No, I don't. Five, five or six you need. Yes. And I need... Yep. A bot ton. Yep. So there's four damage. Four damage, yep, you get two more dice though. Uh, I can't even kill it, can I? No. Nope. Yeah. Unless you have another card. Okay, nope. so you get four damage to it. I don't have another card. Oh no. So they're dead. So your hero is dead, or your leader's dead, and you have a new leader. <laughs> yep. When Laura enters play, draw a bounty card and place it face down next to Laura. It's a hidden bounty that only she can complete. There you go. Memory of a purple. Well, I'll just figure that out. It is hidden, so I'm not whatever. 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 Okay, okay. So that will end that part of the. Well, turn. that sucked, butts. Uh, so now Boomer comes out. Okay, Boomer. At three six. So at the general store, a Boomer comes out. Awesome. Oh man, it's like a scorpion. That's terrifying. Um, so that's if like, I die, it's game over, also, isn't it? Yeah, so I, I would get one more turn. Or Holy I think moly. The, the round ends, so I wouldn't get another turn because you're on the first I have here. a card, but you're not doing what I need you to do for me oh, to use. Really? <laughs> okay. It would be really good in a multiplayer game. Like with up to five people? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It would be really good. Alright. It's your turn, fool. No, that was my turn. Oh, man. Because I my triggered turn? the speaker uh, bell. All those eggs you can have. Oh, yeah. Whoop de doo. It's dangerous, also, Joe. Yeah. Whoa. Alright, so this. number one's gonna move down one. It's a blaster. That's what you need for that, uh. The hunt. What in the there. world is going on up Five. there? Five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Okay. Uh. Pick them all up. Yeah. For four. Right. No, I think this is just yep. the action. Okay. Then two. So the first one is going to trigger the blaster. The first one well, you won't move. Okay. Correct. But draw back up your hand. And then a 
purple egg will come up right here. And then rubble. Yeah. Stay away from me. What do you get it for turning forget, in at the if motel? You, if you deliver it to the hospital, you get to res one of your people that's died. What? Yeah. Oh my. It's a really long ways away. What if you turn in two eggs? You can only turn in one egg per action. Yeah, but yeah. But each time you turn an egg at that location, you get the, I think, maybe not. I would have to double check that. Time to res some people, fool. One delivery bonus per turn. And it's so, still not it bad. It doesn't one person. But if you end your action or re and then on your next turn, yep. you can get them both back. So at the start of my turn, guess what I just happened to have, Josh? Yeah, I Another know military it is. satellite. Lovely. So let's get the dice out. Start oh, rolling again. Jesus. See if I can hit something. Hit Joe. Hit that 6-4. Si 1-6. <laughs> oh, nothing. 1-6. Okay. 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four, no. 2-1. No. Three four. No. Three three. No. Two one. No. Three six. Yeah. Yes. Wow. All right, it's dead. So do you get a victory point for that? That worm is killed. The player's pawn is there. That leader dies. You so mean you just kill it and your one comes out? I guess. Yeah. It doesn't say. I wonder if that counts as killing a worm if you get a victory point or if you can get a oh, for it Joe. as well. Oh, Joe. But a blaster's on top of me. <laughs> okay, we looked up some rules, we looked up some stuff on the internet. The military satellite is actually supposed to stay in play until my hero dies. It actually is attached to him like a weapon card, it doesn't get discarded. So at the beginning of every turn, I can use it. I have to use it, I guess. I don't get to, so I, until I kill myself. Um, but then we we're wondering, because I actually hit a worm, oh. do I get the victory points for killing the worm? Um, like as a hunt. As a hunt. Uh, we've decided, there's not like a clear decision on it online or anything, or in the rule books, but we've decided that you're technically not hunty because in the movie Tremors, they're killing the worms and bringing them in to get the hunt, the bounty. Since I'm just killing it from afar with my satellite, I, we ruled that I'll get one victory point for killing a worm, but I can't claim a bounty from it because I'm not actually collecting it like they were in the movie, so whenever you want to play it, play it that way. That's just how we're rolling it because it's, yeah, not, clear it's the not clear. Yeah, because it's not clear. It's not clear online, so that seems most thematic to us. I'm sure you could probably reach out to them or something. Probably could, yeah. yeah. But you know what I haven't had on this whole time? A mic. A mic. Oh, man. Oh, man. Good oh, thing I'm man. loud. Yeah. All right, now that I'm mic'd up, <laughs> now let's that continue everything the that game. Joe has said hasn't been on here. Uh, so that was the beginning of my turn. So let's move on to the luckily you can make playing the card and post. Sure. Uh, move any target token to space. Oops, what am I reading that out loud for? Yeah. Destroy Joe so and there, take all his victory points. There is a blaster, so that's good. Um, so I want to play this on a blaster here, and I get to move six or take six actions. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go one, two, three, which is gonna trigger another card for me. Four, five, and I'm gonna take that for six. And then um, I have to move all target tokens one space closer to me. And then I will draw back up to four, and then roll a die. Three. Oh no! Whoops! What am I draw from the hmm. discard pile for? Uh, another motorcycle. <laughs> wow! But it does attack. But he does attack. That's number three. Oh, n or that's number two, not number three. So a pinkish egg will come up right here, and then two rubble in each direct, or one rubble and two each direction whatever yeah you got it a new worm oh it's the queen if you are able to kill the queen you get eight victory points and it looks like she attacks almost the entire board it is a very large area 
and from what I read in the rule book, even if I do damage to it, and then you get the killing blow, whoever gets the killing blow, killed her. How would you do damage? Does it Cause, over? Yeah, so like, if I can attack some and only do partial damage but not kill it, you can then attempt to kill it on your on your thing still. So. Be right back. Would that be to any worm then? Yeah. Like, should we have kept the damage only, on... Only if both people are in the attack range. Oh, makes sense, yeah. makes sense. Holy moly. Play pickup truck, so I'm gonna move up one and over one. Get to the five, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna play this card onto Joe, which I'll read when he gets back. I'm gonna draw back up, I'm gonna roll my die. Four, it's gonna go on to the queen, the queen is gonna move. Down one and to the right one. Alright. So I played pickup on the boomer. So it moved up one and to the left one. Here, there. I did five, so I went one, two, three, picked up thing five. Okay. Then drew a card, picked up a card, pick up truck, so I'll move down one and over one. But I'm also playing this on onto you, so it's the oh incubation ray. On your turn, discard this card, gain one victory point. And force all players to roll, would it even be me? Yeah. We'll die for each egg. Well, I wouldn't do that then. Oh, okay. Because it's force all players roll a die for each egg in their possession. If any player rolls a five or higher, discard that egg and their leader dies. Wow. Yeah, I don't so, think you want to do that. Nope, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep. God, terrible cards. Ugh. So you already rolled and... Yeah, I did my whole entire turn. Okie dokie. Without you even being here. Do your stupid military satellite. That's right. Let's roll to see if I kill the mother. Does the queen. That, does that do anything for like a... Uh... Yeah, I mean. Alright, here we go. I would give you the eight points for that. Three, four. Ooh, close to That's close to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm four, three. Four, three. One, six. No. One, six. Five, five. Nothing. No. Four, six. Nope. Ooh. Almost. Well, that's a... that's next uh, five, two. Close <laughs> close Come on, get out of here. Five two. Oh, it's, it's honing in. Two three. Boom. Boom. Hit one. All right. So we'll get another victory point. The boomer is dead. You want to give me? Oh yeah, I have three. Keep one. Okay. So I'm up to fifteen now, and this goes away. Two. And the boomer comes back out to two six. Six. Way over here, man. All right. So now I begin my turn. What do I want to play? Where's the queen at? Way over there. Let's get the queen closer to us here. No. Down and left. And I can play another one as well so I can get more actions. Where do I even want to deliver? Yeah. State police wouldn't be bad. Let's go. St okay, so I'm going to take well, seven state actions. State police point. a weapon. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and deliver. And I'm going to discard, I got three of those as well. So you get a victory point. So I get a victory point. I'm going to take an item for getting you, those you three. You have to be close, right? Eight, nine, uh, ten, 16, 11, I 16, think. Yeah. Jeez, Joe. Jeez, Joe. Wow. That's a really good, uh, those items are good too. Holy cow. Sure. Alrighty, that's, uh, that's it for me. 
me and life coach. Oh yeah, that's not good for me. I need to draw back up. Roll oh, two die. cards. Roll a die. And then roll a die. Two gets a card. Oh man. Nothing. No, he does not move. Well, one. Yeah, the number one gets a card, not two. The queen takes five cards to to before she attacks. So wow. And this is the queen right here. Okay, what are you doing? They're already all the way over. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take four. One, two, three. Okay. Four. I can't turn it. God dang it. Um, okay, so move a target token two spaces because you drove the sedan. Okay. Um. And then. What's funny, I was already up there. I should have just turned in last time. But I was trying to run here to try to get down to the hospital. Yeah. I was literally right there. I didn't even see that that has four victory points for it. Oh, wow, yeah. So you'll add one to the third one. Uh, so number th three will move up. Of course it will. <laughs> right on to you. Lovely. Um, and then the boomer will actually attack because uh, it's got two cards on it, so mm -hmm. it'll break. So an orange egg will come up on that spot. And then we'll put one, two, three, and then we'll go here and here as well. And then that comes off, the boomer goes away. And Miss Tentacles is back, so six, five. Oh boy. They're honing on you. They're honing in your big heavy tank rolling around all over the place, huh? Yeah. Alright, back to my turn. You know what that means? Military satellite time. Four two or two, two four. four two four, nope, no two almost hit me. Three five, no. nope. Pretty much it's six. One two six. or two one, nope. Five four. No, you need like a two five. Uh Ooh. six six close. back in the corner. Two, two six. six. That's close. That is close. Three four three. No. Nope. Two five. That's a hit. That's a hit. Another victory point. Man. That's queen. Yeah, there you go. Eight points. You think so? Game win. If you're able to kill the queen, I kill yeah, the queen. Yeah, yeah that, that'll end the game. Wow. Wow. That military satellite is a little powerful, I yeah, think. Yeah, a little OP. It's so random, too. It is, yeah. I feel like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I understand it. I think mm -hmm. if a bunch of people had them every time, just... I had another one in my hand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, it wouldn't matter for you because your heroes kept dying, your leaders yeah. kept dying. Yeah, Some interesting weapons, too. I had, a, I had a couple hunting rifles, which were okay, but I had a pointy stick. More machine guns. Wow. Yeah. I had a pointy stick. During a worm attack, discard this card to roll a die on a six that's killed. Nice. On any other, you just get a victory point. And then I had a grenade, which is pretty good. And I had nitrous, um, which is an item. On your turn, discard to gain three extra action points. That's nice. You can even use it after picking up eggs. Ooh. Yeah, so I can like pick up an egg and hit, head somewhere so quick. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah that was uh, that was terrible. Oh, so what did you think of it, Josh? That's pretty fun. That's a lot more uh, a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be since we had a group that had shunned this game. Yeah, we did. Um, I yeah, it's a pretty simple pick up and deliver game yep. with a battling yeah, mechanism right. added in on top of it right yep, yep. so it's not just pick up and deliver you can also so like you can completely focus you don't have to deliver anything if you don't want no. to you can just focus heavily on like attacking and yep. killing worms just and getting those rubble and getting attack cards yeah or really if there's an egg and you could deliver to the police station i mean deliver one on your right turn and deliver another one at the beginning of your turn right yeah and i i think i only delivered two eggs Three. I did deliver three all together. Yeah, but you did good. You did good. I much, killed a couple worms too. Much so. better than me. Um, I yeah. should have turned in that egg and got that up there earlier. Yeah, would have gave you an ago. extra victory point too because it's the motel. Well, yeah, so that would have given me like five more. Five more. Mm -hmm. And I had seven, so that would have bro brought me up to twelve. So we weren't. Yeah, we weren't too far off because yeah, I was like at I 15. said, you could swing real quick, and then if I would have hunted anything and killed it, there's another five. Yeah. Or four, I mean. Yeah. 
the queen has 20 hit points. Could you imagine having trying to kill that? Like, well, you would have just had to have a butt ton. I mean, that card's nice to have. Yeah. In the beginning. Yeah. It, it does kind of stink that you can only carry one egg, though. That did make me focus yeah, more on. Yeah, but it's nice to like. I automatically get to attack something right away. Yeah. So yeah, that is uh, that's that's terrible. Oh, I, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. You're looking at some other items. We didn't really yeah. get many items. We went a lot through these uh, weapons, though. Alien snare gun. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff on the worm traps. Oh wow! Bombs. Discard one adjacent to another player to steal an egg of your choice from Simon them. Graph. Sonic transmitter. Once on your turn, discard this. Move that target token four spaces in any direction. Lucky hat, when you're attacked by a worm, roll a die on a 1 to 3, your leader dies on a 4 to 6, you survive the attack and keep this card. I don't know if that's lucky or not. Huh. Yeah, and I mean, there's tons of different... That's nice. White hat, your weapons deal 2 additional damage. That would have been amazing with uh, US Marine Natasha, because Natasha deals 2 damage for every weapon used. Every weapon that she uses deals two so extra damage. Been like four extra damage. Yeah, for yeah, Jeez. yeah. That's crazy. Just play five cards, even if you roll, even if you miss them all. Boom! There's a well additional damage. I think you have to hit. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. I like that. That was a lot of fun. It's really simple. Yeah, um, this would be crazy with five people. Oh man, it would. Yeah, and there's a different side of the board that actually has a ravine in the middle of it. And the um, the hidden cache expansion came brought in a ramp that lets you jump the ravine. I believe it is. Oh, that's neat. So um, let's let's flip. Is that on. supposed to be the mother? Where you're supposed to. Yeah, this her out? this was the uh, the queen that we just forgot to place. Well, she got killed instantly by the uh, by the the military satellite there. Can't can't fight that. No, no, you're underground. Military satellite just heat sinks and destroys. Yep. So here, let's show the other side of the board real quick. Ah! So see, this side's got a ravine in it, and you can also, we did the basic setup, you can also do randomize like it. randomized um, locations, and you can randomize which worms, worms you get instead of using the basic worms, so yeah. lots of different, lots of ways to make this replayable. Um, it's not going to be the sure. same every time, by any means. It kind of reminds me of, uh, what's that uh, pick up and delivery game that you have where you're driving in the desert? Uh, you're fighting other trucks. Oh man, it's got like a giant name on it. It's right back here somewhere. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? But you know, it kind of reminds me of that game, but it's yeah. simpler, much more simple. Because there is games. battling, it's pick up and delivery. Mm -hmm. I swear it was right over here. I don't know what to do with it. Something, something delivery service. Sure. That's the end of it. I, I don't remember. Post apocalyptic. I don't know. Yeah, it is like a post apocalyptic. It is post apocalyptic, yeah, because it's like Mad Max style. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it reminds me a lot of that. Yeah, but All a simpler work. version of it, because yeah, yeah. that was way much more simpler, complex, because yeah. you could upgrade different parts, like add weapons yeah, to different parts yeah, of yeah. your. This is much more simpler and streamlined, and it has a good theme. Yep. I like the worms. I mean, it follows. Yeah, if you like trimmers, you're going mean, to love it this. It pretty much follows trimmers. I mean, I don't really remember eggs and trimmers. I think one of the sequels had eggs in it. Yeah, it did. Really. In. The first movie was the best. Yeah, I think in one of them, he was also the government, the Mexican government hired him to hunt the worms, and they are paying him so much per worm killed yeah, or yeah. something like that. So it's a mixture of all of them. Um, in the cover, it definitely reminds me of like the main, the first movie. Yeah, I mean, he the has truck and the guy with the and shotgun yeah. and yeah, the cowboy hat. Yeah, that's totally. Yeah, it, it, it's solid. I really like that. So um, that's gonna be it for our playthrough of Terror Below. Mm -hmm. uh, until next time. My name is Joe. And I'm Josh. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching down the vent. Bye.